I will share with you a common issue that patients discuss with me when we talk about breast augmentation. Many of my patients have had children, have nursed and developed deflation of their breasts, or have had weight changes that caused their breasts to develop a flatness in the upper breast. And so they come in and talk to me about breast augmentation to help restore a fuller breast or bring them back to a shape that fits the body type that they're looking for. But women who have nursed babies also experience changes to their nipple. So in talking about breast augmentation, many patients will present with something that they don't even realize that we can help them with because nursing changes the shape of their nipples. Before they had children, their nipples were small, their areola were small. The areola is the colored border and the nipple is the center portion and patients develop changes to both the areola and the nipple during nursing. The areola becomes larger when the milk glands develop milk and in nursing the babies, the nipple becomes elongated and sometimes even engorged or full at the tip. I've seen women who look like they have two marbles hanging on a stalk. I've seen women whose deflated breasts have nipples several centimeters long, like an inch long. I've seen women who have nipples as long as the tip of your thumb. And the patients come in asking me for improvement of the overall breast appearance, but we're in the room talking about their breasts. The patient is looking in the mirror and telling me what they see. And I'm there listening because I'm here to help patients feel good and look good in their eyes, not to tell them what they're supposed to look like. But as I listen to them share their feelings, their desires, as I listen to them tell me what's important to them, they describe as they look in the mirror the deflation in the upper breast, the elongation of the breast, the flatness, they don't fit in their clothes, they don't like the way they look, they don't feel confident. I will ask them very gently, is there anything else I could do to help improve the appearance of your breasts? Or is there anything I can do to make the result better for you? And they might then point out to me, well, I mean, there's nothing you can do about my nipples. And that's where, where they're wrong because we can do things to improve the shape of the nipple. So for patients who have nipple changes after nursing, such as deflation or elongation or a bulbous tip, we can do a nipple reduction procedure in which we reduce the central portion without reducing the innervation to the nipple. So the nipple maintains its sensitivity, it heals easily, we use a couple of absorbable sutures, and we can shorten and reduce the tip of the nipple without reducing the nipple sensation. The sutures that are placed are typically absorbable, the patients heal really well, and they love the way it looks. Nipple reduction is a really nice way of creating a beautiful result for patients that have breast deflation and nipple changes after nursing.